Hey, gender queer chat folks. Happy Thursday. It is Thursday. Oh, okay. Well, I'm recording this on 9.30, so that means happy October, everybody. Um, October 1st, 2009. Rabbit, rabbit. If you say rabbit, rabbit on the first day of the first month, technically the first thing you say, you'll have good luck for the whole month. So rabbit, rabbit to you all. Um, this week we're talking about something really difficult and I've tried to think about it and I haven't been able to come to any particularly insightful conclusions so here's what I've got this week we're talking about um, political correctness hate crimes and something else sorry I'm, I'm not sure what the third part is and my internet isn't working right now um, and I want to relate that to gender saying is it's gender queer chat. I think that there's a lot of political correctness surrounding gender. And people are really sensitive to um, the different orientation names, the different gender names or terms, um, pronouns, and general acceptance for who we understand ourselves to be and how we categorize that if we choose to categorize it. And that's interesting. I think that there's a difference between someone who doesn't understand, who doesn't quite grasp the idea of, let's say, being genderqueer. Um, there's a difference between that and someone who's just, like, really hateful and, like, closed off and doesn't want to understand. And then there's also a difference between complete ignorance and people who just don't know that there is this orientation or gender expression or whatever out there. It just isn't a part of their world. Um, and I think that we fall into some complicated territory when it comes to wanting to feel respected and referred to in the way that we prefer, but also at the same time, A, going through life anyway and just like trying not to make that a priority because that's really important, but also life is really important. And also B, understanding where people are coming from in and why they're referring to you in that way. And C, how to broach that topic, um, how to correct people when they use, like, the wrong pronoun or whatever. And I guess that's political correctness. I, I keep trying to bring it back to the topic, and I guess for the sake of this video, that's what I will call this general problem. Um, maybe it's not even a problem. Ah, it's a problem. Anyway, again, editing this on the laptop, so I'm not going to be able to edit it. I mean, shooting this on the laptop, so I'm not going to be able to edit it. Um, okay. So in that way... Okay. I think it's important to talk about people's intentions when they are referring to groups of people or you specifically with your pronoun or things like that. In my experience, I found that the most, most people that I interact with on a day-to-day -day basis, I have explained how I identify genderqueer, what that means, and that I prefer male pronouns. Um, I have not... Ow, fort. I have not um, extended that to my entire realm of existence. Like, I only really... I don't have people at home call me by male pronouns. I haven't asked them because I'm not ready to. So when it comes to asking people here to use the correct pronoun, it can be tricky because they want to be respectful. They want to be politically correct, you know? Like they want to do the right thing generally. I mean, those are the people that I've come into contact with, with which is really lucky. But at the same time, they mess up all the time. And sometimes don't even notice. They are simply speaking the English language. 
and not thinking about pronoun usage, just forming a sentence and using male pronouns is not what comes into their head first when they talk about me, which I can understand. I can totally understand it. It doesn't really work for me, but I understand um, where they're coming from, I think. So I don't think it's necessarily a matter of respect. I think that, of course, that is something that needs to be addressed. But once that's been addressed, I think it's just a matter of learning how to correct people in the most... respectful but also um like understanding where they're coming from kind of way um so like okay I was on a film shoot last weekend with a group of girls from my class and I was getting a lot of she's I have explained to them what I prefer but I was getting a lot of she's and people weren't thinking about me people weren't thinking about my gender like that was not the focus the focus was that we wanted to get this shoot done and we had a lot of work to do and a lot of things to get done and it was a little stressful so i didn't want to call attention to myself the same is the same is true with like when i'm in the classroom i don't want to call attention to myself i don't want to um correct people in that way at that time. Like, I think that there's certain times when it's more, I wish I could edit this. Okay. I think that there's certain times when it's more acceptable and appropriate to have that conversation about correction of pronoun. Um, and for example, with the shoot over the weekend, I didn't say anything for a whole bunch of the day. And finally, I was like, you know, guys, I, I really do um, prefer male pronouns. And I would really appreciate it if you guys tried to tried to use them. And immediately the girls were like, I'm so sorry. Every time I said it, it would occur to me. But I felt like it was too late and awkward and not appropriate to bring it up. And I was like, it's totally cool. Like, don't worry about it. I just I just wanted to say it again. And we'll get there, you know, I think they keep saying, we'll get there in time, it's hard for us to make the shift, and that's okay, that's totally okay, I do not present as extremely male, because I don't feel extremely male, I feel extremely genderqueer, and there isn't a genderqueer pronoun that I would like to use, so I, I understand where they're coming from, um, I guess that's how I've been talking about the topic, I, I really wanted to bring it back to gender, um, and make it applicable to our channel. Um, and I think it's all about respect and understanding and having a lot of open communication with the people that you're asking to, to refer to you in a way that you prefer. And in terms of changing the whole world, I, there isn't enough time in the day, you know, to, to make, to go up to every single person who refers to me in the wrong way and try to explain to them what they said wrong. Like, I'd rather make my impact on this channel and through interactions with specific people and through the films that I make. Um, and that way I feel like I can try to educate people. But on a day-to-day -day basis, it's just too big a battle to fight and not one that I actually want to fight um, because I'd rather just live my life and not be always thinking about gender, which is hard. Okay, I'm at nine. I should probably go anyway. Um, yeah. Somebody just walked.